guys, Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Abandoned Ship. We finally broke through the ice after getting the icebreaker last episode, and it looks as though these ice bergs have tentacles. So let's go forward. This water looks wicked, man. I don't know what to expect here. I have no idea. Our hull's in tip-top shape. Our weapons are pretty good. I'm hoping. Oh, it looks like we can continue forward here. Um, let's take a look at the map. Okay. Let's take a look at the journal. It looks like it wants us to continue forward here. Like, I want to explore it, but at the same time, I just want to go. I want to see what's there. You thought that the Kraken was a single creature and his defeat was bitter? Blow to the cult? Now, however, having seen so many more of the monsters frozen in ice, you know that the cult's plans are much, much grander. That's what it's all about. And yet that revelation was not where the charts pointed to. That lies here in this map. We must explore and find the truth. And there's no escape now. So it's basically just Krakens frozen in ice. Wow. Uh, the Devourer. <laughs> the air shimmers. The fabric of reality seems to pulse as soundless shockwaves blast you and the crew. Each, each falls to the dick, clutching uselessly at head or ears. You swear you can feel the trickle of blood through your fingers. Wow. The white hot pain scours your mind and flenses your soul. What the hell is flensing? Kneel before the All-Father and be welcomed into our eternal embrace. No. The light, a beacon in darkness, your mental resolve holds out, acting as a barrier. You feel the crew so close to the... to... Pre <laughs> the precipice? Precipice? Cling on your presence. Cling to your presence. The dark lifts. The darkness lifts. You all snap out of your blind reverie at the same moment. We must leave before we all succumb. Leave this area and return to safer waters. Okay. The devourer, huh? Well, we can get away now. It doesn't look like there's anything in here anyway. Is this taking our supplies each time? Uh, looks like we can get to here. Hmm. Two supplies. Zero supplies. Oh, we're going to start losing happiness here. we got to find some events or something here, right? Something to give us some supplies or the whole crew is going to lose their mind. I'm just sailing around the tentacles. Sailing around the tentacles. <laughs> Uh, I don't think, I do not think there's any events around here. We would have ran into one by now. We would have ran into one by now. 54 crew morale. Twenty nine crew morale and we're back in ice. This is so bad y'all. This is not good. I thought we were fine on supplies too, man. Like, I literally thought we were good. If we don't get any events here, the ice is closing up behind the ship. You have no choice but to dispatch, dispatch the men to cut the ship out. Um... While the crew bids themselves hard work, a shout goes up, warning of a polar bear that is getting closer. It suddenly charges, crossing the distance to its closest member at an alarming rate. Use the anti-personnel weapon against it. A well-placed shot to the animal. Oh, the second brings it crashing down onto the snow. The meat and fur helped sustain you through the arduous journey. Hell yeah, we got supplies, boys. Let's go. Whew. <laughs> I don't know if that was RNG. 
or if that was just the game saying, okay, you worked hard enough. You deserve this. At any rate, we gone. Oh. Uh, the ship suddenly grinds to a halt. Runs a pat thick patch of ice. Unexpected motion forces your crew to slip over the rail. They fail through some of the broken ice by the base of your ship and are under the water. Get down there and look for them. They're as good as dead. Get down there and look for them. Places a semi translucent enough for you to spot a dark shadow scrabbling on the other side. You rush over, slamming tools into the eyes, desperate attempt to break through. A couple of sturdy hits and cracks appear. A couple more, and you are through. Although you get wet for your troubles, you have managed to save your drowning colleague. We got 10 crew morale for that. We're in the green, dare I say? Dare I say we are in the green again. Oh my gosh. No more events. No more events. No more events. No more events. No! Um, standing at your post, if you feel like what's ours, you see one of your crew slump over the rail. You yell out, struggling to be heard. Over the howling winds, and together you carry the collapsed crew member inside. You are alive, but only just keep them wrapped up in blankets by the galley fire. Do the above, but also expend supplies. Oh yeah, we reviving them. In time, they become more responsive. You leave them to recover and get back to your duties. Yep, we had to save him, man. We had to save him. The crew is too important, and we are out. Okay. Five supplies, man. Leave in the area and return to safer waters. Okay, we return to safer waters. The main story and the battle against the cult will continue in future releases through early access. In the meantime, you are free to explore and discover what else lies hidden in the world of abandoned ship. Wow. We actually made it. Well... I have to say, that is pretty interesting. I'm, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I think a few more boss fights would be really, really cool. Like, the Kraken fight was definitely one of the highlights of the, um, of the gameplay. And I really, all in all, I truly did like it. I want to test something, okay? I want to test what happens when you totally run out of, um, of crew morale. So we're at 19 here. Let's see if we can go back. And it just drained the food. Yeah, negative six crew morale. Let's travel again. Oh, negative 31. So you have a little bit to go here. You really do. What is this event? Is this one of the, um, slaves hanging from rig? After them, they will pay for what they have done. More slaves are brought back up. Is this a fight? We'll do one last fight. So, crew morale, they don't just leave you right away. They, they really don't. They really don't. I'll tell you what, we're gonna, just for old time's sake, we are gonna rush them. We're gonna put acid on board. We're going to hit a couple of the Halifron. And a couple... There we go. We're going to shoot over here. And we're going in. We're going in, boys. Nice. All right. Can we get on board? Can we get on board real quick? All aboard! Yes, everybody made it. Okay, kill. One good old brawl to finish it off, y'all. Oh, the Halifron left. Uh uh. Halifron. Halifron. You're too late, man. You are too late. All right. Uh, there we go. Last one. So, somebody had said. That we can actually use the boat. Like, grab the steering wheel, right? 
and bring the ship back closer. Aha! I didn't know that from before. Okay, cool. Very cool. So he's going to come back aboard, yeah? He sure is. So we could have did that last time. Interesting. So you grab the ship's wheel and you use it. <laughs> Neat. That was something I hadn't done before. All right, cool. Leave combat. Okay, so let's go to another port. We'll go to another port. Is there a port here? I don't think so. There's a pirate ship. There might be a port here. I didn't go a whole lot of places over here. There might be a port. There's a pirate ship here. So that that makes me think that there's a port. I just want to see what happens when crew morale just gets this low. Like if people end up leaving or they're not as effective or what happens, you know? What exactly happens? We can get some more supply. We're going to just avoid all events. All, all good events here. Man, they're, they're laying it on thick too, man. That's some good money and stuff. Look, we have 847 gold. We'd be able to buy a bunch of supplies here too. I didn't know, I don't know how easy it is to like lose. I guess you could say like early on when we were playing, we lost pretty easy. But that was, <laughs> that was, that was due to inexperience mostly, you know. Okay, we'll go here. Okay, uh, visit the tavern. No, nobody leaves or anything. Nobody leaves. We can increase morale all we want to. We can fast travel if we want to, which would take supplies even lower. The whole cracker, round shot, section damager. It's actually a cannon. It's actually a cannon. Oh, yeah, this would have been awesome, man. That would have been awesome. Oh, well. Uh, the fact that we made it, you guys, is pretty darn cool. I'm pretty happy with my progress on the series, and I hope y'all really enjoyed it. Um, I've got a bunch of other games that are coming on the channel right now, you guys, like four or five other games, and I've been pumping out quite a few videos a day. So if you haven't done so already, you should definitely subscribe. Um, I also have been streaming a lot on Twitch. You can find that channel at twitch.tv slash Zul'jin. Uh, you can see my VODs and some other real-life stuff on YouTube.com slash Zul'jin TV, which is my second channel, and all my other links and social media stuff along with my Discord server are in the links at the bottom of the description. Guys, I hope you all really enjoyed this series as much as I did. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, this is Zul'jin signing off, and we'll see you next time.